Hello everyone and welcome back to the Common Sense Crypto Channel. As with you always, this is Rich doing another video today. So I hope you're all having a wonderful day today wherever you are in this great, great world. We're going to talk about the World Economic Forum, the Great Reset. I'm going to take you back to 2018 to 2020 and see if Ripple is with the good guys or the bad guys from back then and where we are today. And I never wanted to make this video today, but I felt compelled to. And you'll see why in a minute. World Economic Forum member calls for 86% reduction in the world's population. If we have a very strong dictatorship, which is smart, and people have a low standard of living, Meadows says, as he explains how the population reduction agenda could be triggered. But we want to have freedom. And we want to have a high standard of living, so we're going to have a billion people. And we're now at seven, so we have to get back down. I hope that this can be slow, relatively slow, and that it can be done in a way which is relatively equal, you know, so that people share the experience. So they want us to sit back and watch them depopulate the planet. And you know, this is absolutely crazy. They want, and it's hypocritical at the same time, they want to take out so many people out of the world. They want to kill them off. But yet the elitists believe that they should still be alive so they can have a better standard of living in the future. It's so hypocritical. World Economic Forum calls for AI to rewrite the Bible, create religions that are actually correct. This is what compelled me to make this video. This article came out on a Sunday. And on top of that, they're saying that AI is smarter than God. A top official with the World Economic Forum has called for a religious scripture to be rewritten by artificial intelligence to create a globalized new Bible. So what, we're going to worship artificial intelligence in the future? And I don't believe God is ever wrong. And I believe at some point he's going to step in. And there's going to be a great place in hell for Klaus Schwab and Noah Harari. That guy's absolutely sick. He also believes that people should not have souls in the future. And that we should not, that people should not be humanly born in the future. That they should have come from a test tube. You know, that's why you see all the satanic rituals going on all throughout this world right now. And it's still going to continue into the future. This was from 10 months ago. This is more evidence that Biden is a puppet for Soros and the World Economic Forum. This is more evidence of our taxes being used against us. Soros Link Group wins a $172 million contract from Biden to help border crossers avoid deportation. You know, open borders is also part of the Great Reset. We are going to be global citizens of the future, if they have their way. United Nations, New World Economic Forum, the Global Citizens Initiative, World Health Organization, all playing their part towards one world order. The UN replaces all 193 country flags with LGBT flags. And that's leading into a one world citizen. And I said it before, you know, people keep wondering why we see all this woke things going on right now. It's because of the big corporations are pushing for the Great Reset as well, such as BlackRock. Now you see Ford pushing out the Rainbow Raptor. You see what happened with Bud Light. People are fighting back, though. They're not funding these these new agendas that they're pushing people stop drinking bud light just like people will stop buying ford vehicles there's other companies doing the same thing but again it's not that these people are looking for i don't know attention or that they want their group to be involved this is a cult and it's pushing forward and it's all part of the great reset as well Billionaire George Soros makes a life-changing life decision. The favorite enemy of conservatives and extremists from all over the world has just passed the baton to one of his children, Alexander, who is 37 years old. But Soros told the newspaper that him and his son think alike. So even after George steps down, the chaos is going to continue. 
throughout all the major cities. Crime and looting. All that comes from Soros-driven groups. And his son is going to continue with that into the future. You know, we don't need any more division in this country. This country needs to come together like never before and fight back against this. Because, you know, no matter how trendy you think you are, or how much of a trendsetter you think you are, guess what you're going to get in the end? A slavery system that you will be living under. And you're not going to be out there marching in the streets for this case or that case. You're going to be sitting in your house, owning nothing, not being able to go anywhere, being tied into your 15-minute city, and being part of the system. That's why I always said you need to enrich yourself before it's too late. Honestly, the direction the U.S. is going in, once XRP really starts to skyrocket, I'm planning on getting out of this country because this country is headed down a path of disaster. Five technologies that will transform our lives. This is coming from the World Economic Forum. You ever wonder why Ripple is going so big with the World Economic Forum? I always said that's where the money is. But the World Economic Forum is also going very big on these cryptocurrency companies because they need their technology to push the Great Reset. So number one is AI. Now we know their plan with that to create one world Bible, one world religion. Then there's virtual reality and the metaverse. They also push heavy into that because they're going to have one world government inside the metaverse. They're also going to make you have to have a digital ID to get into the metaverse in the future. Gene editing technologies and DNA. That's just sick. Then there's blockchain. And without blockchain, I don't think you could have a 15-minute city. You can't have the carbon credits of the future that they're going to use as a tax. Internet of things all tied to blockchain as well. And that's why you see these ISO cryptocurrencies tied in with the World Economic Forum. They're like the chosen cryptocurrencies. But it, you have to invest in those. They're also part of the fourth industrial revolution. And that's your one chance to enrich yourself. That's why I always tell you, no matter what, make sure you keep holding. Enrich yourself while you still can. Then there's nanotech. And that's that can be a great thing. It actually... Somebody that's disabled, this can help them become enabled again. It could give them a new lease on life. But not in the hands of the World Economic Forum. Because I think they would definitely use it for evil. Then there's this. Who controls Ripple? The good guys or the bad guys? Now this is one person's opinion based on some facts. All the way back in 2020. But you remember Ripple tied to Snoop Dogg. He was promoting XRP, and Bill Clinton was as well back then. So people kept saying, let's get, you know, Bill Clinton back as president. XRP would absolutely skyrocket back then. I remember people talking about that. But then it changed a little bit. The Ripple board members, and a lot of people said that David Schwartz actually stepped down. This tweet indicates that it was Joel Katz who has freed his seat at the Ripple BOD for Ken Curson. Yes, I'm all in with Ripple either way, and now we have Ken too. It's an interesting move, and it shows David Schwartz's commitment to Ripple's success back then. But then who is Ken Curson? So it just so happens that Ken Curson is a person, personal friend of Mr. Trump and Jared Kushner, who was a, what a coincidence. Yes, in fact, Ken wrote speeches for Mr. Trump and worked for Kushner, he is the smoking gun. He is the connection to the White House. And back then, people said, we are going to absolutely skyrocket on XRP. Trump loves XRP. Maybe the better question is, who is Jared Kushner? And when you see him sitting there with Trump, you also see him here at the Peace for, to Prosperity workshop. Then you see him sitting there with Christine Lagarde. So, and he's also tied into the Trump administration, but he never stepped down from Ripple at all, never cut ties with Ripple in any way. But this was all the way back in 2017, all the way up to like 2020. 
Then all of a sudden, the case against XRP and Ripple came. So 2022, SEC Chairman Gary Gensler scrubbed evidence of Hillary Clinton, George Soros, and Nancy Pelosi meetings. So if Clinton was tied to Ripple at one point, you would still think that connection is still there, right? So we don't know if both parties love Ripple and XRP yet. Then there's this. The SEC responds to the World Econo Economic Forum. Sorry. They own the U.S. government. The World Economic Forum is already the world's government, and nobody seems to notice. Gary and company met several times with Klaus Schwab. Ripple is a member of the World Economic Forum as well. It has all been staged to lead to the crushing of 95% of crypto companies. But Brad Garlinghouse said 99%. And I did a video also on XRP where I talk about that as well. I think everything that's happening right now with Coinbase and Binance and even Ripple is going to lead to that. I think we're going to be left with a handful of cryptocurrencies and a handful of exchanges. Then there's this. So the World Economic Forum on LinkedIn, nearly 8 million new bank accounts. They're talking about Pakistan. The World Economic Forum loves Ripple's technology because it banks the unbanked. Same thing as Stellar and XLM. That's why the World Economic Forum loves it. But Ripple, I think, is tied in there for the money. And I also think Ripple may be tied to both parties, both Republicans and Democrats. What's your view on that? Put it in the comment section down below. I just thought I would share that with you because... People always said, you know, there was a lot of ties to the Trump administration and Ripple, but there was also ties with Bill Clinton and Ripple and the World Economic Forum and Ripple. Plus, Brad Garlinghouse, he, I know he's Democrat, and most likely he gives campaign donations to the Democratic Party. So is Brad playing both sides of the fence? That's the big question. And I know this, though. Ripple and XRP is definitely the chosen cryptocurrency of the future. That technology is needed one way or another. No matter what path happens, no matter if the Great Reset happens or not, XRP is still going to skyrocket. Enrich yourself while you still can. With that said, I'm going to wrap up this video. I want to thank you all for watching. I appreciate all of you. I hope I didn't mess that up there because I was trying to make the connections for you so you could see exactly what's going on with Ripple. And I still think the good guys are in charge of Ripple. And I still think good is going to prevail in the end. And evil, evil and that whole world economic form at some point is going to collapse. Whenever you go against God, disaster is coming for you. We'll see you in the next one. Have a great night.